Hey everybody, welcome back to another God of War Ragnarok video. I've been enjoying this game a lot. There's so much new stuff compared to its predecessor, God of War, in 2018. There's new mechanics, new settings, and menus that can be overwhelming at first. So I wanted to share with you 12 beginner's tips and tricks when you start playing the game. This video will not contain any story spoilers, so you are good to go. Number one. Change those settings. There are a lot of options in the settings menu in God of War Ragnarok that can be overwhelming, but the options I highly recommend to use to make it the best experience ever are Auto Pickup. Under Gameplay and then Playstyle, change it to Full so that you can pick up items from the ground automatically. There's no need to press a button anymore. It comes really handy when you are in a complicated fight and you need to quickly grab green orbs to heal up. It really makes you play faster and smoother. Don't worry that if you are full of health, you won't autograph green orbs. Next, use touchpad shortcuts. To have the best immersive experience, I hit all of the UI and have them show up by using touchpad shortcuts. This is to avoid the UI showing up all the time and not letting you appreciate this game in all of its splendor. Next, go under graphics and select the favor performance option under graphics mode. So you can have the smoothest experience without any frame rate drops, especially in heavy combat. Even in performance mode, the game looks phenomenal. There are many more playstyle and accessibility options that honestly depends on the preference of the player. So I recommend go check them out. Number two, don't just do the main storyline. If you're new to God of War games, you need to know that there are a lot of rewards like armor, skill, and items that you can get doing side missions or even exploring the worlds and realms. And the good thing is that it will show backstories of the character, so there's no wasted time doing side missions. Number three, don't waste time destroying everything. There are a lot of destroyable objects in God of War Ragnarok, like boxes, tables, chairs, and many more, but they won't drop anything. The only destroyable object that will drop hack silver and sometimes green orbs are the pots that have some kind of color and cool design on it. So make sure to break those instead to pile up your bank to use the hack silver for crafting early armors and most important, upgrading gear. Also, when you are on a boat or a sled, be sure to destroy the barrels and pots to get hack silver and other resources. Number four, get permanent attributes. In the game, you can boost attributes permanently when you grab the Yggdrasil's Dew when you are traveling in the boat. They look like blue big teardrops hanging from a plant. Only by grabbing it, you will have a specific attribute increase. So be sure to keep an eye for them when you are on a lake or in a river. Number five, get used to the traversal movement. In God of War Ragnarok, there are new ways that you can explore and traverse the world and complete puzzles. Platforming is present in every area in the game, so make sure you explore up and down, because you can use the Blade of Chaos as a grappling hook to get to areas that you couldn't before that can have hidden chests or items. Number six, XP is more important than ever. Now experience or XP plays an important part in how to purchase your skills. Kratos and Atreus have separate XP points for you to purchase their individual skills. So in order to get more XP in the game, you need to complete what is called labors that are just a tier count of different in-game activities that will reward you with juicy XP. There are three tiers, bronze, silver, and gold that you need to complete. You can check the labors list by going to the menu, then goals, and scroll down to labors. And this will bring us to the next tip, number seven, new skill mechanism. When you go to the skill tree to purchase a skill with XP, the way to upgrade that skill is by using it in-game a certain amount of times. There are three tier levels for upgraded skill, bronze, silver, and gold. And when you upgrade the skill to the last tier, you will be able to increase it even more by adding a mod token that will add additional enhancement to the skill. So I recommend using a lot of those skills in game to upgrade them as fast as you can. Number eight, upgrade Atreus skill constantly. Like in the previous game, Atreus plays an important part in combat. At first, it may feel lackluster, but if you keep upgrading his skills constantly, it will be a great combat support unit on difficult fights. Hitting the same enemy as you, stunning them, or even taking the aggro from you, or finish them off at a distance. Upgrade him more than Kratos, and you will feel the difference in combat early on. Number 9. 
imbue ice and fire in early game combat. At early game, to get the best damage in combat, be sure to use the Frost Awaken skill with the Leviathan Axe or the Flame Whiplash on the Blaze of Chaos. I play on the Give No Mercy difficulty and using those skills all the time helped me a lot with damage, especially when applying frost or fire to the enemies and then switching weapons to deal that bonus damage. For that, be sure to have this Extinguish Flame skill for the Leviathan Axe and Vaporize Frost for the Blades of Chaos. Number 10. Try different shields. Early game you get the option to choose from the Dauntless Shield or the Stonewall Shield. The Dauntless Shield is focused on players that like to parry attacks. If you don't parry perfectly, you will get unbalanced and open to attacks. And the Stonewall Shield will block the majority of the attacks, and when fully charged, it will release all that energy with a ground slam, stunning enemies. After choosing one, you can then purchase the other one, so I recommend trying them both to see which one fits your playstyle. Number 11. Change armor and try different stats. During your playtime and exploring, you'll get new and better armor and items every time with different stats and benefits that you need to try and experiment to make the best Kratos possible and excel in combat. Sometimes the armor improves a specific skill that you haven't tried, and it may be a very powerful skill that with that armor combination. So don't keep more armor throughout your playthrough. Keep trying whatever you get and try different skill until you feel comfortable in combat. Number 12. Kill those Odin Ravens. Like in God of War 2018, you need to be on the lookout in every map for Odin's Ravens. They are those green spectral ravens that are flying or staying put in all realm areas in the game. Be sure to kill them all for some juicy rewards. So guys, that's my list of all of the beginner tips that I have for you when you are starting to play God of War Ragnarok so you don't miss anything and you can play better right from the start. If you have a setting or a tip that I missed that can help others, please comment down below and hit the like button if this video was helpful and can reach to more people. Also, it will help this channel a lot. Thank you guys and I appreciate your support. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any more God of War Ragnarok videos. As always guys, take care and see you on the next one. Ciao!